Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Stella. I make lighthearted content all about my life with chronic illness and disability. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm excited. <laughs> Got my cats here, Coco and Luna. They thought they would introduce themselves. And today I'm doing a try on haul. So without further ado, let's get into the video. my last video I spoke about how I gained a bit of weight but I'm going to embrace it and make sure I fit the clothes not have the clothes fit me. <laughs> Everything today is from Karen Millen kindly purchased for me from my mom who is the sweetest ever. I have five dresses and a jumpsuit and two pairs of boots and a pair of Nike trainers that didn't come from Karen Millen. However, I'm disabled. If you didn't know, I have HEDS and a bunch of other things. <laughs> so, hence the walking stick. I have been a size eight to 10 for the longest time, but in the last year, with my lupus medication, my pain medication, the pill, my mast cell activation syndrome, my allergies or my gastrointestinal situations, Things have been going on in my body, but I'm embracing it. And I am roughly about a size 12, maybe even 14. I like things to be comfortable. I always size up as well. So everything here is between a size 14 and 16. Hopefully I find something that fits. <laughs> the first item I have to show you is this dress. I didn't pick this one. My mum picked it for me. And I think it's really beautiful. It's white with a bunch of embroidery. It's got uh, flower details and lace and the bottom is all flowy. So I'm excited to try it on. Okay guys, this dress is not it. I mean, it's giving me fairy vibes, but not in a good way. Like, I appreciate the idea. I get where they were going with it, but this drop waist situation, this high low thing is just not doing it for me. Also, it is big. I think maybe if it was like that, it would look better, but even still, the detailing is cute. The back is cute. I don't even know if I did it up properly. I hope I did. I mean, it sways beautifully, but that's about it. I mean, when I sit down, it's not too bad. Feels comfortable and it covers me in all the areas that I want to be covered. However, it's got stiff fabric, it's too thick, and it's definitely not for me. The second dress I have is this gorgeous 50s number. I thought it was absolutely adorable because it's like an A-line style. And it's got that Chanel-esque tweed fabric with gorgeous button details. Just has a zip on the back. And let's try it on. So this is definitely more like it. This dress is totally more me, more my vibe. I paired it with these cool chunky boots. I like the way it looks. I like the vibe. Definitely 50s. I like that it's not tight around my stomach. However, there are problems with it. So the last dress was a size 14 and it was big. This dress is a size 16 and it feels really tight on my chest. I feel like I can't breathe. But then if you look at the shoulders, they are really big. So it's not ideal. However, I do like it around my waist and my hips. And with these boots, it does look super cool. But I don't think I'm gonna keep it just purely because of this fit. And if I do the sit down test, yeah. That's not very wheelchair friendly and there's no stretch to it either. Yeah, 
I feel too restricted. So as much as I wanted this to work, unfortunately, it doesn't. The third piece is a little bit different for me. This is a jumpsuit and actually this is from the petite section. I'm not necessarily petite, I'm about 5'5", five five, so it's like average. It's got these flare legs, this fun pattern. It's got really cool cutout details. The back is open. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I really wanted to try it on. Get me out of this outfit ASAP. <laughs> I didn't even wanna show this. It is doing things to my crotch that it shouldn't be doing. It feels all right on the top because of this opening, but you can see it doesn't look right. The fabric is pulling me in all the wrong places. And the only thing good about this outfit are my Hirachi trainers, which um, I really wanted to be able to wear with this, but absolutely not moving on <laughs> the fourth piece is this military style black dress lbds are a must-have it's got this gorgeous pleat detailing at the bottom i like that it's got these cutouts in the sleeves again zip at the back belt detail at the front let's get to trying it i am starting to think that karen millen is not a brand for me. On first inspection, this doesn't look too bad. However, because it is tied on my breasticles, it is pushing this belt right up under my chest when it should be on my waist. Therefore, where my hips should sit, they don't because as you can see, <laughs> they're not. This is a very low cut, which I wouldn't mind too much if it actually fit me properly, but this is just not gonna work. I mean, the cutout detail is cute. I like this, you know, mixture of textures and the belt and everything, but I don't know if Karen Millen is a brand for curvy women. And I'm not even that curvy. <laughs> and here's the back, if you are curious. This dress is the one I'm most excited for. It's absolutely adorable. Cottage core, summer vibes. It's got these cute little tie up straps. The bodice is stretchy, which is what we like around here. It's long and flowy. I typically prefer longer dresses because when I'm sitting in my wheelchair, I'm not flashing everybody. The back's super cute. That's the back. So yeah, I'm excited. Now that's more like it. This is definitely more of what I was looking for. It's fun, it's girly, it swirls really beautifully. I like that it's comfy, it's airy, the top, is super loose I mean look at that <laughs> and what's really cool are these straps can get looser and tighter you can adjust them however you want I don't know if this dress is perfect however it is definitely more of kind of what I was looking for and I'm very aware that these shoes don't go however the boots look terrible <laughs> I don't know if these shoes look right but I thought it gave it kind of like a bit more of an edgy vibe, but maybe they kind of look like Wellington boots. <laughs> I can totally see myself wearing this in the spring or summer, to a picnic, to a wedding, to a gathering, anything like that. And if I sit on the chair to get an idea of what it will be like when I'm in my wheelchair, it is just really comfortable. The only thing I'd have to worry about is the dress sort of getting stuck in the wheels because it is kind of long when you sit down. That's the only thing I find with dresses, they're either too short or too long. I need a perfect in-between dress, which I've yet to find. I would have to just tuck it in so it doesn't get stuck. The good thing about this dress is it's kind of like a chiffon fabric. I think it's chiffon where it won't get creased 
and it's got a lining underneath so you're totally good with it not being see-through. Oh yeah, and the back, the cute crisscross details at the back. I mean, totally wearing the wrong bra with it. This is a bralette, clearly. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't wear this if I was actually gonna wear this dress out, but you get the idea of what it looks like. On to the next. And the last dress I have is this gorgeous green number. Super simple. Light, airy, can be dressed up or dressed down, I feel. And it's just got this tie around. Super adorable in my favorite color. And how cute is it with this purple stick? You know, I really, really thought I was saving the best to last, but <laughs> this is just no, I mean, what is this? It's got this like clip, but it does this open thing, which is not cute. Too low cut for me, don't like that. This does sit on my waist, so I'll give it that, but for me, it is too short. I mean, you can kind of see it goes up at the back. So I'm not even gonna try and sit down, cause I already know I'll be flashing. I tried this with a bunch of shoes, doesn't look right. So I just decided to put my trainers on cause at least I'm comfortable for the final <laughs> outfit. I don't know, I don't know. I think this brand is maybe for thinner women, maybe women with smaller chests or smaller hips. I don't know, nothing about what I tried looks good and I mean, my knees look kind of swollen, so I kind of like to cover them. But I thought, well, if it's loose and comfy, I'll probably like it. I don't. This is the back, super plain, just the zip up closure. What a fail. However, I do hope this video was somewhat entertaining at my expense. I was really hoping that I was gonna come on here and find my perfect dress, cute LBD or something fun and flirty. That didn't happen. Let me know, did you like any of the dresses I tried on? Am I being too harsh? I don't think I am. You try, you learn, and you move on to the next. You gotta let me know if there are some brands I should be trying especially brands that are catered for curvier women up top <laughs> or maybe brands that are just more inclusive. I also wish that companies would show models sitting down because those of us who are ambulatory wheelchair users do like to know whether certain things will hide our modesty or keep us intact when we're sitting down. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And I'm kind of out of breath. <laughs> you know. On first expansion, on first inspection, on first inspection, on first inspection, this doesn't look too bad. Spring picnic vibes. It's got these cute spring picnic vibes. <laughs> it's got these cute little tie up. It's got these cute little tie up straps. It's got these cute little tie up straps. But the way it spins <laughs> is very adorable.